Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy, and we're continuing on today with the laser manufacturer interviews, and up number third today is Eagle Laser. Let's get started. Okay, next stop is Eagle Laser Automation Solutions, and I am here with Andrew. Andrew is uh, one of the reps for the company. Hi, Andrew. Hi there. Thanks for giving us your time today. Can we start off and take a look at your CO2 and find out some of your bullet points on that? Sure. So this is our smallest kind of desktop size machine called X7050. It uses a 40 watt RF metal tube CO2 laser. It's uh, got a 20 inch by 24 inch working area with about five inches of Z axis up and down movement. Uh, I'm sure most of your viewers will know, but this one is used for basically anything that's non-metal. So your acrylics, your woods, your leather, your textile, even paper. Even paper, one of my favorite things to laser engrave. And uh, is this a, a economy side laser or? Yeah, I'd say this is a really good laser for anyone kind of just starting out in the world of laser, starting a small business in your garage or spare bedroom, uh, or even doing like professional quality engraving. Awesome. So uh, now for somebody who needs a little more than that in a commercial business, uh, what else do we have? We go up from here in terms of size and power. I'll take you over here to our X1309. This is about 30 inches by 50 inches, a little bit more than that, with about eight inches of Z-axis movement. This one also has a pass-through. So if you're working with full-size sheets of material, this machine can very easily do it. It's available in 150 and 300 watt versions. And I should mention all of our machines ship from California, as well as spare parts and tech support. And where are they manufactured? We have our own dedicated factory that's in China that keeps our manufacturing costs down, but everything else aside from manufacturing comes out of California. Okay, what, what type of uh, speed are we looking at here? This is an awfully it's, big bed. It's an awfully big bed. This one, we can get around 1,000 millimeters per second. We can go quite fast. This one will go almost twice as fast, X7050. Whereas that one is kind of specializing in engraving, like photo quality images with a very fine laser beam. This one will also use a glass uh, CO2 laser tube. Okay, so what do we have now? Now we're on the fiber side of our booth. So this is just a small sampling of the fiber machines that we make. This is called the FC. This one over here is called the F2. They use the same laser, the same lens. They're both equipped right now with a 30 watt JPT MOPA fiber laser. So for all metals, very dense plastics, uh, even slate and stone and tile we can do on these as well. And I see this one has an enclosure. It does. So this one has an enclosure and a motorized Z axis up and down for your focus. The other one, the F2, which uses, again, uses the same laser, same lens. Uh, this one just has a manual Z movement, so manual focus. Perfect. This is our one and a half kilowatt, so 1,500 watt laser welder. Wow. This is a very, very fun machine, kind of switching gears a little bit from 30 up to 1,500. We also make a similar machine up to 3,000 watts wow. for welding. welding Patrick, Patrick what do you have? What, what machine do you have? I have a 2,000 watt four-in-one finger welder cutter cleaner. Okay. Welding uh, seam cleaner. Okay. So this will be very similar. Uh, similar functionality to your machine, I'm sure. Is yours air-cooled or water-cooled? Water -cooled. Okay, same as this one. You have the chiller built into the chassis, the fiber built into the chassis, and an external wire feeder right here. <laughs> It'll work on any metal out there. And what price range are we looking at here? Retail. Retail is about 23000 23000 Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you very much.